Howdy all, I am Adam the Renaissance Nerd. Obi-Wan Kenobi Season 1. Marked it as a limited series, which means that's it, we're done. It's over. It ended yesterday. I made my final review. If you're interested, I invite you to go check out that and well, check out all six. I believe I've made my case as to why this show is terrible. Why it's in a, an affront to actual Star Wars. How they made Obi-Wan the second banana in his own show. How they deconstructed both him and Darth Vader. How they've attempted to ruin the character of Princess Leia. How they blatantly show their animosity towards Luke Skywalker. And how basically agenda is just covered all over this show, starting with Reva all the way down to Crushed Ice. If you've been watching my video, you know what that means. Either way, it's done, it's over. Oh, but oh wait, it might not be over because Kathleen Kennedy says she's open to a season two. It's not a confirmed thing, but possible. You know what I say to that? Bring it on, bitch. Please. You know, as much as I hate this show, and I hate it with a passion because it is a disgrace, it is an insult to real Star Wars. As much as I hate it, I do love trashing it. I love dissecting it. I love pointing out the fallacies. I love pointing out every single thing that is wrong with it. From the story plot holes to the character desecration to the things that just plain, plain don't make sense. Magical teleportation. How did Reva get to Tatooine? That still hasn't been answered. The stands can't answer it. But the stands are going to call me toxic. Say, I'm what's wrong with the Star Wars fandom. Now, you know what? I'm what's right with the Star Wars fandom. Because I'm an actual Star Wars fan. 28 years worth of evidence right there. Plus video games and comics that you can't quite see. I don't have them on me. Though I've read them and played them for decades. I love real Star Wars. And despite all of this, they can't take that away from me. They did for a while. I blackpilled from 2014 when they threw out the e 2013, 14 when they threw out the EU, all the way to 2018, 2019. I I blackpilled for a long time, but I crawled out of it. And that's my message to those who have blackpilled to this point, who have allowed this to ruin Star Wars for them. Tuck it away. Take a break. Walk away. One day, I I promise you, you'll be able to look at it and not feel sad. And to be able to understand there's real Star Wars and there's Disney Star Wars. Last night, I cleansed my palate from this in two ways. One, I watched Empire Strikes Back. And then I played some KOTOR 2 for you. And we had some fun. Despite the fact that I was dog tired. But the stands and the shills, they're going to protect this show. They're going to protect this show. You can see on Rotten Tomatoes right here, it's at 62% with 9,248 user ratings. But uh, it's been locked in that. It's been locked at 62%, even though it's gone up hundreds of reviews, which was enough to shift it over 60% last week. Go check out those videos I made. It's been locked at 62% for, 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 for nearly four days now. And now suddenly, it's fresh. Despite the fact that when you click on these reviews, uh, how can it be fresh when you're showing two rotten reviews? Out of the whole 272 critic ratings, where you got a critic consensus, but where are all the critic? Where are all the critics? No, no, oh, one top critic. No, 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 that's all you got. So that's why I say bring this on, bring this on, because this is being protected to high heaven, but the truth is out there. Everybody knows Obi Wan is trash because Disney Star Wars is trash. The stands can make all the excuses they want. They can call me toxic. No, you know what I am? I'm passionate. I love real Star Wars. And I'm never going to stop loving real Star Wars. You can't ruin it for me. You can yell and scream and re-at me all you want. But every time you reva at me, I'm just going to smile. I'll give you both barrels. And then I'll challenge you to make your point. To actually back it up beyond the initial download you got from Disney. You can't do that, can you? And you can swallow a whole lot of Disney down your throat and still speak. 
I'm, I'm amazed at that. But you have no reasons beyond why you wanted, why you would want a season two, why this was so great. All you'll, all you'll, all you'll respond with to me is the jangly keys, the shinies. We love Darth Vader. We like Vader. Oh, Leia's so cute. Oh, she's so great. Then what? Then what? Can you explain how? And I give this to a subscriber, or I hope a subscriber, a commenter in my comment. MacGyver said, "How is it possible that they retrieved the holster when a thermal detonator went off?" And I give, I give that person the complete credit from the comments. It, it made me realize how did, how did they get that that holster? That was a thermal detonator. It should have been, a, it should have been disintegrated. There should be nothing left. Stans don't want to hear that. Stans don't want to answer that. But I'm here to question. I'm here to answer. And that's why I hope. Give me. Bring it on. A season two. I will relish the chance to trash your show yet again. Because that's where I find the fun in it. All right. I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, like would be appreciated. If you are new here, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I'm here to earn your trust and support using facts and logic because facts and logic make SJWs and stands cry. Facts and logic don't care about your fifis. Hit the notification button, share my video if you like what I'm preaching. By all means, leave a real comment. Love to hear from you. And I could give two silly shits about stands and SJWs who are 201 cowards behind keyboards. I really don't care what they think. But I do love triggering them because it's so easy to trigger the smooth brain. Thank you again for watching this video. Take it easy. Howdy, y'all. The first chapter of my fantasy novel, Guardian of Innocence, is now available for free. Click the link in the description below and join me in an old-school good versus evil story where Cole Larrys, a disillusioned mercenary, suddenly finds himself dropped into the middle of a destiny he never asked for as the protector of Jania Sarai blacksmith's daughter who may hold the answers to finally stopping a millennia-old threat to the world of Rosetta. Cole's perceptions of love, family, trust, loyalty, as well as his very beliefs in fate versus free will shall be tested as he struggles to keep Jania safe from the minions of the dreaded Zabor Tal, former champion of the gods and now ruler of the long-forgotten Yis Empire. Click the link below, enjoy the first chapter, Subscribe to my YouTube channel and help it grow so that I can bring you the full story in the near future. Thank you and enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to get in touch with me, you can reach out to me at therennerd at gmail.com. That emails for channel business only, so I check it on a daily basis. Also, you can find me at the Geeks and Gamers forums under at Roas, and you can find me at Rumble and Odyssey, the Renaissance Nerd. Thank you again. See you next time.